We have with us Shama Iyer, a dancer and a vocalist. Let's listen to her interview. Uh, we have with us uh, Shama Iyer, uh, born and brought up in uh, USA, and he has, she has come to India for uh, her studies. And uh, she is very much fascinated about uh, classical music, Carnatic classical music. and she is well versed in western music also uh, let us talk to her uh, about her experiences in india and uh, about her uh, passions and interests about her career welcome shyam ayer uh, we will please introduce yourself my name is shyam ayer like i have actually come here on a grant i study musical theater in louisville kentucky um so that includes the learning of western vocal training western dance including jazz modern ballet tap and acting which is also the western style of acting but i've been very fortunate to also have learned uh, bharatanatyam and carnatic music from a young age because my parents have always instilled that in me through my mom's dance school guru vandana arts academy i have been learning dance um therefore the music was always a part of my life and i was very lucky when i did my arangetram in 2011 to meet um, shrimati pustakam rama who is an amazing guru so it's been a very nice experience you have learned current classical music isn't it mm mm-hmm. you have sang one song yes yes what is that that was mari vere uh, in raga shanmuga priya dear listeners we shall listen to shama's uh, current classical music she is singing mari vere di kya varaiya rama mari vere di kya varaiya rama Shama, and you are uh, very much uh, uh, most welcome here. And uh, how come you are fascinated about uh, India? I am very much fascinated by ancient culture. It has India has a very very specific identity that gives me an identity myself, gives me a personality, gives me um, who I would like to be more spiritually as as well. and artistically it gives me a career path it gives me a purpose the culture itself of course religion is always tied into it and then the simple depth of it so just in carnatic music it takes lifetimes and lifetimes to even understand so just that complexity of it is has always really interested me and i want to keep on going on that path so see a very big uh, indian daffer is there in uh, united states number of uh, indian citizens are more there indian daffer is there yes so do you participate in such programs yes a lot my mom has a festival jiva heritage festival she conducts every june in louisville kentucky it's kind of midwest part of usa so we invite all kinds of performers we've had people from from texas from um new york from oh, from india of course and give them a stage so it's always a very good way to see all the artists around the country because there's so much going on um even within america that is helping and pr- propagating this indian art so shama you actually uh, where you are staying in the united states in which state you are staying yes kentucky Kentucky. If you've heard of Kentucky Fried yeah. Chicken, that oh, can you say the what is the speciality of that place? Um, they have lots of horse racing. Oh, well, in which career you are pro- progressing in uh, your um, state? I would like to finish my studies in that field, Western f- arts field, and then there's so much in Indian arts that Western art artists don't know about at all. So I would like to get a master's and. just keep me on the path of learning so can you go for one western song so that is called moonfall and it is from a musical called 
The Mystery of Edwin Drood. Let's listen to that song. Between the very dead of night and day Upon a steely sheet of light I lay and in the moon fall I'll give myself to you I'll bathe in moon fall And dress myself in dew Before the cloak of night reveals its breath while it conceals the dawn and in the moon fall all sound is frozen still yet warm against me your skin will warm the chill of moon fall I feel its fingers fingers though they love me Twixt our hearts let nothing Shamaya, you are fascinated about Indian culture, isn't it? The, how the culture is there in the uh, United States? How the youngsters are performing there? So a lot of my friends also take part in this dance, music, everything. Obviously, the parents who come from India want to instill that on their children. So they put them in lots of classes. Unfortunately, you don't see a lot of youngsters taking this up as a main um, career path simply because it's not so stable or, you know. But if you have the passion, if you have that drive, and if you, there's nothing else I personally want to do, so I have taken that up. Other than that, so many people are very, very involved in doing this. Even people will go on to get their doctorates, engineering, and keep teaching or keep learning or organizing festivals, you know, having dance schools, having so many ways to keep on going with this art within their lives. In this uh, era of uh, that modern uh, world, mm -hmm. the world has become a small village now, isn't it? And uh, our people, they are more interested to know about how the life is going on there. Mm -hmm. Can you give a glimpse of uh, what is actually going on in your uh, uh, area and how you are uh, st uh, spending mm -hmm. day in, day out, day out? I think it's very interesting to see the American population itself. So people who are not Indian just figure out and be curious about this culture. So I started classes in my university to teach about 15, 20 kids there who are of not Indian origin at all. And their interest in this art form is far beyond anything I would have ever expected. Even if our Indians don't keep it alive, their interest will definitely keep it alive because they they find they realize how multi-layered it is and how difficult and how complex. The same way that I have found it interesting, they find it so even more interesting. Siamaya, yeah. what else you are learning and uh, you are uh, interested in uh, art? Uh, you know, Bharatanatya also, I think, uh, you are mm -hmm. fascinated. You like to uh, study that also? Yeah, from the very, from very young. Before even music started, hmm. I was very much involved in dance. Hmm. Um, like, Amma, Appa was Teya Tehi before I could even walk. Okay. Huh. So that really propelled me into learning music. I completed my Arangitram in 2011 under... Uh, Dr. Vasundhara Dariswami. So it was a very good um, training and experience. So that's definitely a big part of the career path I want to go in is to da this is the dance of it, Bharatanatyam. Siamaya, the fascination and mm -hmm. moral excitement is a way of life, isn't mm -hmm. it? 
uh, you young people, isn't it? How you spend your exciting life there? You have stayed here uh, for a month here, mm-hmm. isn't it? Uh, can you compare? Yeah, I love it here. First of all, I, I love Bangalore so much. I want to return every year now, mostly because the classes and the culture here is what I'm interested in. Um, there, it's a different kind of. I enjoy the. It's a very different culture. It can do whatever you want, and anything is kind of acceptable. Of course. the diversity of people so people of all kinds you know indians will be there asians and uh, mexicans and what caucasians and then there'll be african americans so just that diversity of people has given me a a world view that i could not have had if i was in a country where everyone was the same religion or this everyone was the same culture but because i'm here with the people that are the same religion and culture I am able to learn more about who I am myself. So th- it has multi-faceted ways of looking at it. Both places are good. Both places I still can't choose which one I would like better at all. Shama, whether the younger generation is inclined towards an art field there mm-hmm. or nowadays in uh, India, it's otherwise, isn't it? People are more interested in uh, uh, web checking and their bats on <laughs> Facebook. they are very less inclined to this art field mm-hmm. the situation there um it's also there i mean there's so much uh, internet access so many, i mean just even generally like so much access to anything partying being with friends there there's no need to keep on going practicing all the time which you can't do this art field unless you practice all the time and um So that's always there. The phone is always a distraction even when I sit down to practice. If my phone's right here, I will get distracted every 15 minutes. <laughs> But I think it has a good value too. If I didn't have the my phone, then I can't have even class with Auntie because I have it on Skype. So it's it's a good and a bad thing. I think and also I the videos I can post videos of my dancing. I can post people post videos of their music and their dance because of that we can all have access to it. So yeah, it's yeah. wonderful. Actually this uh, music art and uh, I mean dance all this gives the, the inner uh, inheritance of uh, happiness from inner inner side it's yes. really marvelous actually mm-hmm. the, the generation don't know mm-hmm. and uh, they have to take interest then only uh, they'll come to know about this is yes. very nice so mm-hmm. go for one more the western yes, song yes of course um it's called breathe from in the heights um if you've heard of this very famous musical now hamilton it's by lin manuel miranda um and so he wrote this musical in the heights long before hamilton it was a, a latin american inspired um song so in this song i'm playing a girl who is actually puerto puerto rican so which is not at all my race but it's interesting how you put yourself into those different characters so she's basically scared to tell her parents that she dropped out of college because it was um too expensive for her and so she's returned to her community and stories are there in that yeah, song yeah it's a yeah. lot of story theater is the a huge part of the yeah. a song so okay. yes go for it I've known all my life they regard me with pride and everyone sweet they say you're going places so how can i say that while i was away i had so much to hide hey guys it's me the biggest disappointment you know the kid couldn't tack it she's back and she's walking real slow welcome home just breathe the radio plays old forgotten bolleros i think of the days when the city was mine i remember the praise i did oro te quiero the neighborhood waved and said nina be brave and you're gonna be fine and maybe it's me but it all feels like lifetimes ago so what do i say to these faces that i used to know hey i'm home yeah you are uh, giving more respect to your uh, teacher isn't it how come you know rama madam through your parents and yes, uh, so through your institute obviously I, i couldn't have gone anywhere unless my parents had even 
given me that spark of music and dance when I was very young. So because of my parents, my mom um, really pushed me and helped me grow in dance. Because of that, I met my teacher, uh, Vasundara Daraswami, a great teacher. So she's the one who uh, trained me for my Arangetram. At that time, she brought uh, my Guru Pustakam Rama, and she, I met her for the first time. And ever since then, I've been learning since 2011, so six years now. Skype off and on, and when uh, um, auntie comes to our house for programs and stuff, then I learn from her in person. And this has been the best experience, being in her house, and she is so kind and generous. Shama, yeah, our, uh, I mean, music lovers our, uh, are interested to know about uh, how do you Talk, compare yeah. uh, the guru there and guru here? So something that I love about Indian culture is the role of a guru in your life which is not not there to me at all in US a guru there is I couldn't even say guru it's more of a, a friend or a mentor you it becomes like you call them first name or erases that they are higher than you that they have more knowledge than you whereas here that respect and that your learning is only because of them that is very much so here which I think increases your learning. When when a friend tells you you mess up, you feel really discouraged, you feel bad. But when a teacher tells you you mess up, then you feel like, oh, I can get better. Shama, all about life is the attitude of gratitude, isn't it? Mm. You should have the attitude of gratitude. How do you thank your teacher? She's absolutely wonderful. Uh, I don't think my career or, or even this opportunity or any of the opportunities I've had would have happened unless i had met her and by some spiritual some god's hand pushing me in that direction i've met her and i'm here and i've this whole trip has been like a life changing experience and so everything is because of and obviously because of my mom who is also my guru and my dad who has always been super encouraging you're not told their name my mom akila ayer and my dad sundar ayer they're okay. both they very very, very encouraging what they're doing there Uh, my mom's a dance teacher as i said and my dad uh, is part of a healthcare okay industry oh, fantastic, huh? yeah uh, what you learned here in carnatic classical music what you learned actually i've learned music and also my brother uh, so shri ranga nair he's very very encouraging he's also played mirdangam and he's a uh, very supportive my whole family great uh, that you remember all those things really good and what actually you are learning uh, carnatic classical music yes so um there's a lot to learn so um ragams and uh putting swaram lots of kirtanas millions and millions and millions of kirtanas to learn so it will never be done you are singing on devar nama yes oh, one more song yes which one you are singing now rama govinda um in raga mand ram govinda sita ram ಶಯನಾಮುಕುಂದ ಹರಿ ಚಿಂತೆ ಇರಲು ಅನ್ಯ ಚಿಂತೆ ತಕೋ ಹರಿಯ ಧ್ಯಾನ 
ಬಿರಲು ಅನ್ಯ ಧ್ಯಾನ ವಿತಕೋ ಹರಿಯು ಒಲಿದ ಮನುಜಗೆ ದೈನ್ಯ ವೇತಕೋ ಶ್ರೀ ಪುರಂದರ ವಿಠಲ ಇರಲು ಬಯಗು ಎತ್ತುಕೋ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಸೀತಾ ರಾಮ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪನ್ನಗ ಶಯನ ಮುಕುಂದ ಹರಿ fantastic thank you uh, samaya what you are going to do in future what are your plans uh my plans obviously I, i'm young so i keep they keep changing but mo- i want to be able to perform for a living that is the the base of it i don't want to take any other job even for even for financial reasons i i want the this creating art and being part of productions dancing singing i want that to be the only source of my income so um and within that i want to stick to classical bharatanatyam as much as i can i am already taking part in things like modern dance and contemporary and uh, ballet and all of those types of influences but i want to know more about each side before i put them together um ideally i would like to have my own dance company teach both both art forms and then make a musical make productions maybe 